What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willie and today we are back on Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts and we are heading out on the southwest region. We are going to go ahead and start hunting some pronghorn and we got actually have a mission. We gotta kill one pronghorn with a rifle and it's with the 270. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Just started playing this game again and I'm absolutely still Still loving the game, that is for sure. So we are on the south east region, and they said that the wind is always changing. Be on high alert, and we're looking for a pronghorn. We got our 270 out, so let's go ahead and see what's calling over and above this hill over here. Let's take a look and see where this are we at. Not easy oh. to get to. One of the only ways to bow hunt pronghorn as they feed. Alright, so we're heading over to bedding. So we're heading over to the bedding area. Let's take a look at that and see what kind of. Oh, right there. Looks like we got a female right there. Yep, female pronghorn. Still got good wind. Oh, she's alerted. We better lay down. Another one got alerted too. Definitely a tough animal to hunt. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out this female. About 75 meters out. Alright, we took a shot at her. Let's see where we hit. Oh, we shot a little high. We got a rib hit. A rib. Oh, one lung. Awesome. So, definitely got a nice lung shot. Looked like it was going more towards the spine. Oh, there goes more. Another female, another female. Oh, that was ours right there. She should go down right there. Yep, she's down right there. Let's go ahead and run over here and pick her up and see if that'll complete our mission for this. Because I definitely want to get after them with our bow. And see if we can't get any nice long range shots on these pronghorn. So she's down right there. I know there was some more with her, but I'm not sure. Oh, there goes a pheasant. Yep, looks like we got a pheasant flying up right there. Let's go ahead and pick up her. So 600 gear credits, a single lung hit, and it was a female. So I don't know if that's going to complete our mission. Nope, that doesn't. We have to get a male. So... They were in the bedding area. We got some more bedding over here, so let's go ahead and run over this way and see if we can't find another one. Right there. Got another female. We snuck up on her and she's right there. Let's take her out. All right, so looked like we could have got a lung shot on that. Oh, we shot far forward. We only hit rib. Ah, the wind took that one. We gotta put another one in her. Alright, so we ended up putting another one in her as she took off. So let's see. Oh, clean miss. Alright, we got our male pronghorn making its way down here. It looks like a pretty nice sized one. He's about a 120 yards out in that brush right there. Oh, he spooked. Our female went down. She go down right up on top of that. Yeah, she went down right there and it spooked him off. I knew taking a shot at her was a bad idea, but would have spooked anything regardless. So we got a, another pronghorn down up here. But we marked that uh, male, so we should be able to stay close to him. Let's go ahead and pick up this one that we ended up putting a bad shot on. We lost money on that one. But we should have a male somewhere up here. He ran northeast. So let's keep heading northeast. Alright, looks like we caught up to him. So, looks like he only has got one antler. His other, oh, there's another one. That one looked like a little one. He only had a one nice size antler and a, a small, right there. Look at that. He is right in front of us. Oh, this is another young one, but we're going to go ahead and take him out. 
All right, so we took a shot. Not too sure on where. Oh, that looks like a good shot. Yep, right long. So he shouldn't go far at all. No, nope, single long shot. So that looks like a pretty young pronghorn, but he shouldn't go far at all. He's hit real hard. See if we can't watch him. See where he runs off to. He's right there. He should go down right there. Yep, he's down right there. So let's go ahead and go pick him up, and I believe that should wrap up our mission. So we ended up getting three on this hunt, so that's awesome. We got, we got a mule deer buck. Young mule deer buck over there. We're not after those. So let's go ahead and pick up our first pronghorn male, and this is just a real little one. So let's go ahead and confirm this, and that'll wrap up. Our first trophy hunt for this, uh, first mission, not trophy hunt, first mission for this place. And we are in 5,100 gear credits. All right, so we loaded up our 30-odd-6 30 30 semi-auto rifle. I figured let's go ahead and just get a big number of pronghorn down in a pretty fast way because we definitely want to work towards our trophy hunt. So I figure we'll go ahead and load up our 30 odd 6 because it is a beautiful rifle. Go ahead and walk around the desert and see if we can't find any pronghorn to take out. So I know they like to be bedding early in the morning, so that's going to be our first stop and let's see what we can find. Alright, so we finally stumbled across a female pronghorn about 100 meters out walking right below that tripod stand over there. Was that one that just called behind us? No, I believe it was coming from over here. And it really looked like something called from behind us, but I didn't hear anything. Yeah, she looks like she's alone. These animals really are really smart. Really good eyesight. Been having a kind of a hard time getting on a good group of them and finding a good sized male but we're gonna keep on pushing and maybe hopefully get a shot on this female because she's down in that the hill on the other side of this but yeah there's definitely another one calling from over there yeah so I won oh, it looks like there's a few more calling from over there yeah it looks like she's alone maybe she got split off of her group but let's go ahead and see we can't make it to that tower blind and put a nice shot on one of these pronghorn down in this valley here. Actually, we might get to see one. Yep, another female. Oh, there's there's a male right there. Stay flexible so, on your approach. First male pronghorn of this hunt. Spot so we might try to just push our luck and get to a high point and take a prone shot. We do have the 30 odd six, so I'm not worried about the penetration as much as my own accuracy but man we got them all over us yep there's even another group back there all oh, them are some mule deer we got some mule deer behind us I think our best bets gonna try to make our way and get up in this tower blind and take kind of a far poke at these pronghorns so let's go ahead and get up in the tower blind or as soon as we get an opportunity we're gonna go ahead and probably take one out Really hope we can make it up this. Nope, we can't. We're busted now. Right there. There's a male right in front of us. 60 meters out. We're going to go ahead and take a shot. Alright, we put one down range. Uh... Hopefully it's a nice kill shot. Oh, that's a neck hit. Neck bone. He's down right there. The so it shot pretty high. Very lucky or an excellent shooter. <laughs> so that spooked oh. off a bunch of them. Maybe we can get on another male real quick if we can spot one. There they all go, way over there. So there is another male in that group. So that's good to see. Well, there goes another one. Ah, uh, don't look like we're going to be able to get a shot. Can we... Let's try a shot. 
All right, we went for it. He's running. He's far down range. Let's see if we can't get lucky. Oh, we just missed both of them. Oh, man, that's a bummer. But I know one went east and one went west, and we got a male down right here. So let's go ahead and pick him up. This one scores 59, and we got 900 gear credits, and we earned... Uh, I'm not sure how many <laughs> experience we earned towards. I, it tells you at the end. Now, now I'm starting to put the pieces together. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over here and see if we can't find another male pronghorn to take out. Alright, that didn't take long. We already got some more pronghorns down in this valley right here. It looks like we got a real good size one right here. Yep, that's a shooter pronghorn. So we're going to go ahead. 94 meters, but we have some debris in our way. We're going to have to try to shimmy our way down this hill. Oh, he's turning his back to us. We got a clear quartering away shot. I don't like it. We got plenty of time. They don't know we're here. It's like, oh, he's got two females with him, it looks like. That stud. But this is a real solid pronghorn. So we're going to... Try to gently work our way in and definitely keep an eye on him. We don't want to get alerted because this is a real good pronghorn. He literally needs to take a couple more steps to his left and we'll go ahead and put him on the ground. Don't look like he's going to give it to us though. I'm running a pretty big risk but we're going to go for it. A quarter away shot. Alright, we went for it. He was quartered away, he was taking his sweet old time, but definitely looks like we put a kill shot right in his spine. Even if we didn't hit spine, it still would have been possibly a stomach and a lung shot. Well, there goes a mule deer. Yep, there goes, it looked like a young mule deer buck took off. But I'm not worried about them, we got a real good pronghorn buck down, let's go ahead and take a look at our trophy. Man, after shooting that other little one back there, this one didn't run far at all, so that's a good sign. Look at him. This is a real solid pronghorn. Real solid. Well, let's quit looking at him and harvest our trophy. This one scores 97, and we got 900 gear credits from this one again. So far, this has been our biggest pronghorn yet. Changes so, we got two, two male pronghorns down, and we just started. Maybe we'll get another one, but I definitely want to try to take a look at one of these mule deer bucks. So, let's go ahead and try to see if we can't catch up to that group of mule deer. See if we can't get a mule deer buck down to finish off this video. That'd be real cool to get one of them, too. What is that over there? Another group of pronghorns. Holy cow, that one's a good size pronghorn. That one's that one's bigger than our last one. Now it's time to focus and put in a stalk, at least to that tower blind, because this game keeps telling me about 150 yards their eyesight is. And as you can tell right there, she knows something up, and we're 200 yards out. What was that? Could have been the females over there, but we definitely want to try to get to this tower blind and put a nice shot on a giant pronghorn. So let's make our way to the tower blind. Alright, we made it to the tower blind. We got some mule deers. Mule deer, actually. Down in the watering hole. Oh, yep, yeah, there's mule deer. There's a few of them coming in. Yep. A couple females coming in, but that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that one right there. This looks like a real old pronghorn. Definitely a big prong. Oh, look at it. He's a real good shooter. Let's go ahead and try to take him out. Ah, I couldn't get steady. Ah. 
All right, we took a shot. We finally got a steady shot, and I felt comfortable with it, so we went ahead and we took it. So it looks like we're going to hit shoulder, rib. Uh, that was close, but what? We missed both lungs. We got to put another one in them. All right, I think we let it. I don't think you have to lead them on this game, but I'm not too sure. Yep, we led that. We're not letting this big one get away. Alright, we took a shot in the dark, and apparently that was another miss. Oh, that is a real big prawn horn to be going ahead and wounding just like that. I cannot believe we missed both lungs. So let's go ahead and get on our blood trail. We missed them two times after that. That's pretty embarrassing, but it is pretty hard. Pretty hard getting back used to the scope on this and how it all works. We keep shooting, keep shooting off Mark. But he went in this direction, so we're bound to catch up to a wounded pronghorn. And we did tag him, so it will show us kind of what way he did go. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find our big pronghorn. Oh, and just like that, he's down, and we got a coyote running right next to us. Man, what is going on? He's down right there. We got that coyote. Second second shot, he went down. So, our indicator said west. It really should be on our blood trail. But we're just going off of what way it, we think he went. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, that's some female tracks. So he ran with the females. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, there's blood right there. Right in front of our face, we got some more blood. So he shouldn't be far. Let's go ahead and find our trophy. There he is, right here. He is down right here. He really didn't go that far for putting a bad shot on him. A bunny. Oh, well, that bunny didn't like something. This is kind of an overkill. What is going on? I'm out of bullets! You need to be more careful with your shots in the future. Or I forgot to put more in my bag. But anyways, we got our biggest pronghorn down right here. And look at him. He looks like a real old pronghorn. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and pick up our trophy. Score of 107. And we actually lost money on this. That is 100% on me. All the misses. All the bunny misses, and we had to shoot a cat a coyote twice. But, so, we got $1,725 gear credits and 263 species experience. I was expecting a lot more than that because it looks like we need 400. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, but we still need the 7mm, and 7mm is uh, kind of expensive. So, that is definitely what we're going to be adding, going ahead and working towards. We do still have a bunch of pronghorn hunts. Hunt three from a stand. So we just need the 7mm for that. Uh, shoot some with 12 gauge shotgun. That'd be pretty fun to get into. Definitely want to start looking at some mule deer bucks, though. Hunt gray ghosts, so that'll be a sweet one. What's the next region? Northwest. Looks like we got elk and bear. That'll be an awesome one. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Just changing up a little bit. I'm still loving playing this game. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Let's see who can comment first on our next video after this one. So hopefully we see you guys out there in the woods. Happy hunting, shoot straight, unlike me, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.